in discussion, but uh, we are going to have now our last talk for today and later we will have the open discussion and, and, and posters. And this talk is being prepared by Itziar Garate, who will be talking about the Europlanet um, uh, Telescope Network, the funding proposal form and how to manage uh, in, uh, in this funding proposal form to provide a, a, a successful application. <laughs> Exactly, so good evening, everyone. I'll try to be quick so that we finish on time. Uh, even if I wrote the unraveling word in the title of this talk, there's nothing mysterious, there's nothing weird in this uh, form. Just uh, remember that it's not a proposal form for asking or requesting observa observation time. It's a, what Aeroplanet covers is the funding to perform those observations, but just uh, as we said in the beginning of this session, in the beginning of the, of the workshop, uh, you have to agree that observation time, you have to discuss the availability of the telescope you want to use with the observatory itself and not with, uh, with Europlanet. Um, there is a template that you have to fulfill if you are going to ask for any funding to, to Europlanet. You can, download that template uh, directly clicking in the first link that I give you here once you've got my, my presentation or if not just going to the general web page of the call for observation and going to the point number six then you will find in the first sentence just clicking on the using the template word you will find and you can download the, the template for those that want to have it at hand once I am unraveling it. Anyway, it's a three page uh, form. The first one is the one where you have to write your name, your affiliation, your contact, any detail that can identify you. But please keep the rest of the two pages anonymized because those second and third page are the ones that will be sent to the science advisory panel. And we want to, to be the, the evaluation to be anonymized. So please don't write anything that can help to, to identify you. For those who have already written some proposal, I don't mind of serving time proposal or any uh, funding proposal, there's nothing new in, in this form, but I will be focused, I will be addressed to those that could be new writing a, a proposal. In this one, for example, there is a general introduction paragraph in the, in the beginning where we remind you that it's not an observing time request, it's just uh, to ask for funding, for, for supporting those observations. And what covers, what Europlanet covers, it's the per diem and accommodation allowance, so the daily and overnight allowance, the travel costs, and of course, the service costs of any, any facility. Uh, we already said also that it's a rolling call, so you can send the proposal at any time, but just emailing to na2 at europlanetsociety.org. We said also that the advisory panel uh, meets up every two months, so if you have some urgent uh, observations to do, just add the urgent work in the, in the subject of, of the email, and as Gunter says, we will try to evaluate it faster in one or, or two days. This, uh, well, I already say it, but the advisory panel, it's a science advisory board. So they will be evaluating the, the scientific merit, the scientific potential of the observations that you want to perform. So here, the key is to write, to show the advisory panel or the advisory board that your science, that the scientific results coming from the observations is are going to be impressive that they are going to be the best ones and then you will have to be the proposal awarded and just a reminder that there is a condition a little condition if you finally are granted and you will have funds from Europlanet to perform those observations you will have to make your data your observations public but after a proprietary period of one year okay you have one year, 12 months to work on that data by, but by yourself, but then you will have to make them available publicly using a, a VESPA 
database, BESPA is a virtual observatory managed from Europlanet or some of the associated services, PVOL, for example, has been mentioned more than once here today, or you can discuss with the observatory if they have their own database. Maybe you have your own database. You can use it. It's just you have to tell us how that data, those observations, will be available after the, the year period. Anyway, uh, just quickly, I will run uh, over the over the examples because I prepared the well one example of the proposals. I will I have no time to go into the details, but as usual. In, the, in this first page, you will have to give us all your names, contact, email addresses, affiliations, information about your colleagues, your co-investigators, of course. And there is the final table in this first page where you have to give an estimation of the, of the cost, you know, the, the amount of money in euros, of course, that you are requesting Europlanet. There are three different items travel, subsistence, and observatory service cost. Each observatory, each telescope has its price, and you can look it up in the table of the telescopes that uh, Ricardo showed in the, in the first talk. For the subsistence item, where the daily and overnight allowance are covered, you also have tables. You cannot uh, write any, any amount there. You have to take a look to the reimbursement rule document that you can download in the general web page of the call or by clicking in, in this link here. And you have to look for each country where are the amounts allowed for the, for the subsistence one, okay? And of course, for those that are not used to this kind of procedure, when once you, uh, once you ask for money and mainly when you have to apply for the reimbursement, you will be asked for every ticket, for every invoice, so keep them all, please. So, like I said, the second and third page of, the, of this form are anonymized, but you will have to give details of the observations, like observatory, telescope, number of nights, or number of hours. They don't have to be necessarily complete nights, okay? There's an option here, as you can see, where it asks you if your proposal is a new one or it's an ongoing proposal. We already uh, talked about the possibility of having some kind of agreement with an observatory to have periodic observations. So you can ask more than once for this Europlanet funding if it's an ongoing uh, project. You will have to write three or four lines, three, four sentences uh, summer, summing up your, your proposal, your science, and this is the only part that will be uh, public, uh, that will be published in the, in the web page. And then, of course, comes the most important part of the, of the form, the scientific justification. Remember that the evaluation is scientific, that what the Science Advisory Board will evaluate is the scientific potential of the observations that you want to, to perform. So this is the important thing, okay? You will have to give firstly um, a general context explaining the object, the, the category that you want to, to observe. That means if you are observing planets, fireballs, asteroids, comets, general context, okay? Why are you analyzing planets? What kind of planets can be ice giants, for example? And tell us why are they important? Then in a second step, you can go more specific and tell about what are you analyzing in those planets or, or what family of asteroids, as we are in the uh, solar system planet session, let's focus on planets. You can say first that, um, that you are interested in the ice giants, and then in the second section, you can say that, well, I will focus on Neptune because I'm interested in its atmosphere, in this dark vortex, for example, that appeared, and as and is behaving uh, mysteriously, or you can go more specific. Then in the third part, you can uh, talk a little bit about the observing strategy. What dates are you going to observe or you want to observe? Why, if during those nights, instead of, well, apart from Neptune, you can study another object, another planet, for example, to maximize that scientific return from your observations, you can talk about uh, exposition times, filters that you need, anything that you think is interesting and that will support 
your the explanation of why your observations are important and, and, and useful. Of course, you can um, support all this explanation with figures. They are optional. You can add them or not. But you will have to add, of course, a list of publications that support your what you are saying, OK? Previous studies, papers, or, or whatever. I had prepared, like I said, uh, little examples of each of those sections, but since we are running out of time, I will let them here in the presentation and you can read it afterwards once you got the, the presentation. And I will jump to the next part that is the justification of the observatory and the telescope. Of course, you have to tell us why it's interesting the science that you will be doing but you have to also justify why you need this telescope or this observatory to, to make those observations. It can be something as, as simple such as saying that I already use that uh, observatory, that telescope for a similar topic and it works perfect, so I want to use it again. It can be something more technical saying that I need this at least this size of telescope with this type of camera or instrument within this location of latitude, whatever, it's up to you, okay? And then just to finish, two little sentences or two little paragraphs about how you will be making these data public after the 12 month uh, period. It could be ideally in the virtual observatory managed from Europlanet, Vespa, or again, it can be your own database or the database of the observatory telescope that you that you are using. But you have to tell us in the proposal form what's, what, what is your plan to, to make these observations public. And lastly, what are your plans about publishing the, the results? If you are planning to write a, a scientific paper or showing the, the results in a conference, in a science meeting, or, or what you, what's your plan? For, for showing to the community the results and the observations that, that you have done. As you can see, there are really simple things. Each section has not a limitation of lines or, or words, but everything has to be less than two pages, okay? Except figures, figures don't count in this, uh, in this limit. But if you go farther than two pages, the anon anonymized part, you will not be uh, taken into account. So please keep that limit and don't change font size, don't change margins, don't, don't do this kind of tricks, okay? And I think that's it because uh, I already show you the seven uh, granted proposals so far, seven that are published in the, in the webpage. Uh, apparently there are a few more already, uh, already granted, but here, as you can see, between those seven, we have more or less half of it uh, dealing with asteroids and the, the other half or almost half uh, observing exoplanets. We have known from, for planets. So please, if you have uh, ideas, if you are a planet, solar system planet observer and you want to use one of the telescopes in the network, please go ahead, ask for the, for the funding that we will be glad to, to consider it uh, at least. And just the last comment from my side to remember that the two proposals here in red are coming from the amateur astronomers. So it's a high percentage from the uh, two out of seven. So please keep it, keep uh, writing proposals and keep observing planets, asteroid, comets, or any planetary object that we will be glad to see those results. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Um, <clears throat> so uh, probably we'll have time for maybe just one question because we can come back to this later and we are now going to open for posters. And before posters, we also have another comment. So just one quick question, maybe, Richard? A uh, website. Do you have an, a website on the proposal, Itzar? Yeah, you, you want the, uh, pro the, web page, the web page just directly for the uh, form? Yes, that would be good. Okay, I can try to write it in the in the chat. That would be great. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, and so later we will come back to the whole Europlanet Telescope Network and all of the different uh, items.